Hey folks, John here. So I got the uh, parts for my FNEO conversion on the uh, bulk. So I'm going to make about, it's probably going to take about three videos to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is look at, you know, what all we have and uh, what all we have to do uh, to the bulk to convert it for the FNEO. Um, for those of you who don't know, the FNEO is essentially a uh, planetary gear system on the crank. Um, so it's a, it's a flat transmission, if you will. And what it's going to allow me to do is, is to go down to one chain ring on the bulk and uh, basically we'll get the effect of three. So the physical chain ring that goes on the bulk is low gear. Mid gear is 1.4 times that and uh, high gear is 1.79. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put the uh, 44 tooth chain ring on, which is what's on it now. And... Uh, um, and essentially we're going to, that'll give us uh, a, a 68, approximately a 68 uh, tooth chain ring equivalent in the mid gear and around a 78 tooth uh, chain ring equivalent in the top gear. So I should get a lot more gear spread with it. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Now, because it uses a BCD-130 um, spider, it can take anything from about a 39 tooth all the way up to about a 75 tooth uh, physical chain ring. So I'm going to start out with the... Uh, with the 44 tooth that uh, that's currently came as the small ring on the uh, bulk. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to have to upgrade the uh, rear cassette. It's a, a, an 1140 right now. It's going to go to an 1150. And so I've got a hanger extender and all that type of stuff. So it's a rather relatively uh, somewhat more complicated build than I would have expected. The other thing is, is the, um, the bottom bracket in the bulk is press fit. So there's a, a little sled, and then the bottom bracket's a two-part bottom bracket that's a, that's a press fit. The FNEO comes with a three-part bottom bracket, with uh, which uses BSA threaded. So what we had to do was uh, get a couple of adapters um, that could handle the BSA threading and uh, and but a press fit into the uh, bottom into the bottom bracket sled. So I'm going to go through that whole thing now. So. First things we'll do is uh, show you the parts list, and then um, in the next video, then I'll start uh, I'll start uh, the build, and we'll start the teardown and the build on the the uh, uh, bottom bracket first, and then potentially, and then we'll we'll do the upgrade on the uh, on the rear um, the uh, rear sprocket and cassette, which is probably going to be a little more complicated than I'm than I'm bargaining on. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is our FNEO. Um, so we look at it here, it's a, it's a, a trigger shifter that it uses, so just like you'd find in any mountain bike. Um, it's three speed. It, it operates exactly the opposite way to uh, a mountain bike though, like the bulk. Basically when you pull it, it goes up a gear. And when you trigger it, it goes down a gear. Well, this goes exactly the opposite. So if we go here to first gear, so we have to pull it up. Here's the transmission itself. And as you can see, it's a, it's a fairly compact device. So it's very flat. It weighs around 180 grams more than a, a triple chain ring with a front derailleur, right? So not super heavy. And how it works, you can see if we hold on to this and we crank it around, the spider is actually moving at the same speed as the pedals. So that's in first gear. So the physical chain ring is low gear, right? Um, if we go to second gear, we can see that the BCD spider is now moving faster than the crank set. In fact, 1.4 times the speed of the crank set, right? And uh, so that gives you the virtual gear for a virtual chain ring for um, second gear and then in high gear it's going a lot faster 1.79 times as fast in fact so more than one and three quarters um, faster so that's how it works now the one thing I don't like about this thing is it's a square tape or bottom bracket right as you can see and the problem with these is is because if you don't keep pedals exactly tight all the time you're going to run into trouble because they won't stay square and this is not a cheap piece of kit so uh you know it's five or six hundred dollars so by the time you uh if it were to square off um, that's not a good day 
So the bottom bracket sled in the uh, bulk is a press fit, right? So this is, as you can see here, this is a, um, a threaded bottom bracket set, a BCD, uh, uh, BCD uh, bottom bracket set. And uh, this is a PF30, press fit, 30 millimeter. So that we need that adapter basically so that we can use the threaded bottom bracket, right? So good day. Um, relatively simple installation from that perspective. Um, if we look at what we're going to do on the bulk, right, so in the bulk, um, take off the maintenance package. We have the bottom bracket sled. Get my light out because it is dark in here. And you can see the bottom bracket sled. So this is a two-part uh, bottom bracket. So we take off this pedal arm and there's a, there's a 10 millimeter Allen insert in here which you have to pull out and then the whole thing will slide out. So what we want to do is, I don't need the derailleur. We're only going to use a single chain ring so I'm going to take off that derailleur and we're going to break the chain to do that and then we're going to put the chain back on the uh, the 44 tooth, right? And uh, connect it was not shortened at this stage of the game. Pull out the bottom bracket and then pull out the sled, right? And uh, the sled just has these four bolts, five millimeter Allen keys, and uh, out they come. So we'll take that out, and uh, and then basically, without the bottom bracket in, there are two bearings in there that need to be removed. So I have a bottom bracket removal tool that will take care of that. So I'm doing this in two stages, because initially we're only going to do the uh, the front to test the FNEO. And I'm put the 44 tooth on there. I could also put the... Uh, 39 tooth if I wanted to which would give me a little more gear advantage if we find that maybe the 44 tooth is not the best right the other thing that I'm doing though is we're going to upgrade the uh, the rear cassette okay so this is a bit of a pain be a little more complicated there's a special tool because this is a single swing arm so it's a candy lever this is the axle that uh, goes on so there's a special tool for removing that you pull the axle part way out it's going to uh, drop the wheel and then the rest of the way out you can get the cassette out right the problem is the derailleur there's a derailleur hanger that comes with this new cassette with the 1150 the that exceeds the capacity of this derailleur however as you can see there's not a lot of room down there in the um, bodywork so consequently if the uh, chain so when the uh, derailleur pulls forward we want to make sure that it's not going to hit the bodywork, right, with that big 50 tooth. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't think right now when I measured it, it looks okay, but then when I was looking at it, I went, mm, maybe not. Right, so we'll go and have a look at the cassette. So this is the uh, cassette. And uh, as you can see, it, it looks like a friggin' pie plate. I mean, it's a big honking cassette for sure. Right, um, the, uh, this is 42, so the, the cassette that's in it is about this. So we're looking at a whole bunch more um, extension here. And this is the uh, 13 tooth and the 11 tooth wheel and the locking, the lock ring. And here's the derailleur extension. All right, so we'll try and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, make sure it doesn't hit the bodywork and we'll see what happens. So that's basically what we're going to do in terms of the conversion. So this piece is actually stage two, and I do have some extra chain. So if I need to install more chain to cover it off, I will. And what I want to do is get it so that I can use 39 tooth, 44 tooth, and a 50 tooth um, as the chain rings, depending upon the drive conditions. Because if I'm going to be climbing a lot, you know, I'll go with the 39 tooth, even with the 50, 50 tooth cassette. Um, we should get some some pretty good gear ratios. So that's what we're planning on doing. If you like the content of this video, um, please hit a like or leave me some comments so I know it's important to you and I keep making videos that you want to see. And if you like my uh, my channel, then uh, hit subscribe.